Sorted out for the spotlight thing. Big dog glue right at the back to catch that big hooch tab. Big hooch. Like so, get that a quick wiggle. Get the glue moving. Big trouble down the side there. And then one down this side. Like so. Another squish. Get the glue moving around. Get the squish out happening. And lovely. Right then. On the back of this face plate here, apparently we're supposed to add a clear part. And I don't understand why, because the hatch closes. Like so. And I'm going to display it with the hatch closed. Now if I was having hatch open I would have the clear part but yeah I don't know so it doesn't actually serve any function if we're closed oh, I don't know what to do now do we add it or not do we add it or not hmm yeah I suppose we better add before we get shouted at So I'm not getting shelted up. Do the thing with the stuff, do it properly. Ha! <laughs> that was cool. Just add a bit of strength, more than anything. Like so. Hop. Where's my white glue? Where's my white glue? Let's get all goopy and horrible. Eee. Eee, that looks goopy and horrible. Yeah, that was going to be normal. Right. Tell me a pot. Just make sure the lid's on properly. Turn it upside down. Load of my glue in the tummy pot. He says. Getting that excess from my cocking table stick. Yeah. Like so. I'm going to get told off again now because I've not. Uh, I'm not put it all over my fingers. Because that's like a thing you have to put white glue all over your fingers and peel it off again afterwards when it's dry. And I have some water off to the side, and I just need a little receptacle. When I say water, it's Drink literally a couple of drops. I uh, literally just want to just thin this down a tiny little bit. Like so. That should do. I'm going to paint all the way around that inside ledge there with white glue. Put on a corner there. Drop that in. It is actually beveled, that glass. That's quite cool. It's beveled, so it's literally a one-way inch, stupid. 
I'm just going to coat that corner there with more white glue. Nice there. Big dollop in that corner there, and then like so. And I'm going to leave this off to the side to dry for a while before I add it to the rest of the box. And this is now a really, really, really good time to go away, make more coffee. I know, I'm leaving you running. And that's that brush right now. And then, what's that one? I do half. Basically, I'll get rid of the, the white glue from the bottom of the pot. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Done. Right, so that's had roughly half an hour to dry. it over the top of the rest of the box. Hopefully it all lines up. Hopefully it all lines up. There we go. So I'm just going to run another bead of glue down the back there. Give it a squish. Put them in that corner. Give it a squish. And I've got some leak out again, and that's fine. I'll take care of that in a moment when it's all dry. Oops. Too much then. Got a bit giddy then. A little bit giddy. That's that around that side there. Done. Lovely. And then we'll drop the door over the top. I suppose adding the clear part there just gives us a little bit more strength to this faceplate because I did notice as I was trimming the faceplate away there was a little stress mark appeared around here-ish so it's just enough to I don't know, boost the strength I suppose have I just said that? I probably just said that didn't I? I don't know. It's not my fault. Right. Ridiculously tiny pieces again, with huge gates on them. That's that one. Number two. Number two, number three. Number two, number three. Here we go. And somewhere further back, I just realised I did not put these boxes onto the side of the turret. There it is. Look at the turret. Turret. Yes, it's right. And again, not the greatest place to put those tackum. That box and that frame is done. Yay! Excuse me. So again, that plate did work. Hardly any pressure going through. And yes, I know I'm dangerously close. Dangerously close to my thumb. It's hardly any pressure going on. Let the plate do the work. I know, 
You told a girl in. Don't worry. I'm a professional. There you go. There you go. It's fine. Shift you, shift you, shift you. That part there. Lovely. In the box. In the box that goes up here. Where does it go to the top? Ooh. That's not very helpful. It does sit low, right, there you go. So it does sit low. Those two tiny little tabs just off to the right hand side. And the two just there as well. A bit too much glue. There we go. Jobs are good, so I can put the turret off to one side again. Oh! This little bracket off. Which will go just here, like so. Stop some glue in the corner there. Like that. Lovely. That's two. I shall go off to the side there. Snip. A little bit of off camera clean up. And it's really close to my fingers. Because it's a tiny, tiny little piece. So I'm doing that behind the camera where I've got more room so I can look at it. I'm not falling faces behind you, honestly. <coughs> I'm not, honest. I'm not. I promise you, I'm not. Get off. Quick bead at the back of it as well. Coming shot. Is there like so? Dropped it. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> carpet monster, you starve again today. No food for you. Some of the back there, like so. Just reinforce that bit and then bring the turret back in, and then hopefully that will all line up, he says. And those little parts there, like so. Yeah. 
Yay! My god, something worked. Wow, this is me making things work. <laughs> How's that? So again, we're going to leave that off on its little lonesome so we can paint it home there. This section here looks like there's a gap. Yeah, there is. There's a gap behind the light box, camera box, thingy box, whatever the box that is. So we'll be able to paint behind here first and then do what we need to do in regards to possibly masking behind that. I'm not too sure. Put the, the call out of the way. Now, that is turret done. Lovely. Turret done. Yeah. I'm going to defy, def, defy convention again. I'm going to work on the upper hull first. Not the lower hull. Because, yeah. Why not? <coughs> Ooh, right. So, I think that was the last part we worked on. That was about three weeks ago now. <laughs> Uh, it's, yeah, it's not great, but I've seen worse. The folds aren't quite as tight as they could be, especially in that back corner there, but yeah, I can live with that. Obviously you're going to take your time with it, you know, I'm pushed like crazy for time again at the moment. So, take your time. It will work. Uh, I can't remember if I told you this before, and... Just whopped in, whopped, whopped in, whopped in a little bit of filler just on the bottom corner there and a couple of other places, where was it? Just under here. There was a little bit of gappage, so I took care of that off camera. Um, what did I use? What did I use? More importantly, where did I put it? Uh, I've, I've actually had a tidy. Yeah, me tidying up. What's that about? Can't find it. I'll put it away somewhere. So I'll find that in a second and I'll show you what I used. It's just there. <laughs> so we used this stuff here, available from ebundles.co.uk. Emodels. Yeah. Um, one of these spatula y type of things. Uh, I think I got that one from Games Workshop. Don't shh. I didn't. Yeah, but you can uh, you can get these online somewhere. And I used that little bit just there, that little spidey bit, just to. Let me show you. It's a bit like polyfiller. If you're familiar with polyfiller, you literally you just need a tiny little bit for the gaps, and you literally just place it on, smear it, get rid of the excess on a bit of tissue paper or something, and just work it in. Like size of the cracks. Dead easy. Dead easy. Even I can do it. And then once you sort it out, it shouldn't crack back too much if it's in a tiny little gap like that. But if you're obviously filling canyons, then it will crack and shrink and things like that. So just bear that in mind. You might want to pack out a huge gap. I've got that on back in there. It feels very wet. It's just wrong. Right, so where were we? This is the only thing with my schedule. I'll take a break for about three weeks, and I'll do, I can't remember where I've got to. Um, I think we're working on the hole next one, aren't we? Yeah, why not? You fall over. So. What I'm thinking guys, what I'm thinking, just for now because I really don't fancy tackling all those wheels, we're going to get all these little bits and bobs for the upper hull sorted out. I've got a plan for that, that skirt at the side. So we'll get all this detail sorted out, get all these sub-assemblies done. So yeah, wheels. <laughs> right, go, stop faffing. Yay! Bunts into the same problem again now. Right, so uh, I'm jumping ahead slightly, so I'm going to get all these little sub assemblies done before we get round to the main build of the 
it's not a torso at all, is it? It's a hull. It's a hull. Hull. <coughs> like the place. Yeah. Um, just trimming these little parts off here for that back box that will eventually become the rear fenders. <coughs> Excuse me. And they've done it again. If we look here, when you put all these little bits together, getting ready for the thing with the stuff and the glue. Zip. They put the gate marks in ridiculous places again. And we've got to do all kinds of trimmage and sanding and things like that. But look at that, they put it right on the face plates. Right on the face plates. So, it does mean a little bit more work, which is kind of disappointing. But, this is the fun of it. Honest, it is. It's fun. I promise, it is fun. It's just tough little things like this that slow build down. Um, if you're on a very tight time schedule like I am, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't help. Doesn't help at all. But it's taken care of, care of quite quickly. Ooh, my stutter was like, nope, you're not saying that one, love. Fantastic. Because why not? So again, sharp knives in close proximity to thumbs. Do be careful. I'm a professionally trained idiot. You may not be. Thanks, Obama. All right then. So look at this. I'll build this one with you, and then uh, I'll do the other one off to the side. Here's your words, Tony. Off camera. That's the word. There we go. So that goes that way around. So we're lining the. It's not buckles at all, is it? What are those? Latches. I don't know. Leave me alone. What I'm going to do here, because we've got this kind of thing going on, and then we've got to line these two parts up, I'm going to use the the white glue, which is a little bit gloopier. As we know, it's not hot action weld like the green lid is. It just gives me a little bit of wiggle room, a little bit of wiggle time. Even so, I can do things with 17 hands. So, I'm just gonna decent enough coat there, and decent enough just there. And then those two parts up like so. And then the same here, decent dollop around the edges, nothing huge. Just not to get a grip. Get a grip. There we go. Throw that one in. It's just a little bit of wiggle room before we commit to the final glueage. Apparently, my desk is quite dusty. Mind you, it would be because I'm not sat here for about three weeks, if not longer. Right, so I'll just give that a little bit of squishage. That's the advantage of the, the white top glue over the green top. With the green top, it's pretty much stuck there and then. You don't get a huge amount of time to play with it. Stop giggling, Langy. <coughs> there we go, so that's that done. And then what I can do now, just as a final thing, is very quickly in it around with the green glue, which is the extra thin, of course. Just run around the seams. Just to help finish them. Lovely. The one. That's one. I'll nip off camera and I'll do that bit and get a few other bits preparated and ready for us. You know when these clips go viral? Of people hurting themselves and things like that. I think I'm about to do it. Look how small that piece is there. And we've got a huge nub. Yeah. I've got to be honest, it's getting boring very quickly this. But. But I'm not going to let it beat me. I'm not going to let it ground me down. I'm going to persevere with it. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Just be aware, it's daft things like this that will quickly grind you down in a build if you're not ready for it. Persevere. 
see the challenge and raise your happy level. Don't let the <coughs> grind you down. Ooh! Yeah, I just did that. So rather than attack that with a knife, yay! Let's go ping on the carpet monster. Carpet monster, get off carpet monster. No food for you today. Dead. I'm getting good at this, I think. And that will go in there uh, like so. Like so. Cool. Alright, so dab of extra thin just in here just to grab it. Like five. Tweezers, come here. Just give that a little push. Like so. There is a clay part that goes in here, but I'm not going to put that in until we've got the paint together. Paint together? Paint on, even. Kid you, you know what I'm like. I'll paint it. I'll forget there's a clay part there. I'll forget to mask it. Here's what, what are we now? We're at the end of March now. It'll probably be September before I get around to painting this. Because, yeah, it's me. I'll forget there's a clay part there and I'll paint over it. I'll do it like it's like nobody at home. Very odd. And then, yep, another nub. I see your nub and raise you a middle finger. See how that works? Oh, blurry. Hello? I'm on the grid. Focus on me there. Thank you. What's that? I'm thinking I've not got my glasses on and realised I had none. <laughs> yeah. It's not my fault. Been a long day at work again. Oh, look, another nub. What was that off? I thought he'd be all day and I don't know why. Focus there. Focus there. Yeah, I know. There's pit marks in there, but yeah. I'm not anticipating looking at the tank upside down. So that can stay. And that'll be painted black anyway on under the so you shouldn't be able to see that. Focus. And once that's dry, I spotted this on the other one earlier. That's one we did before. Like I said, I'm doing uh, bits and bobs separately. Especially if we've got two, I'll do them one off off camera. One off off camera. Yeah, thanks Dutta. Um yeah, so you're not sat there agonising over me, building something twice. There's a little bit of a lip just there. And it's the same thing in here as well. A little bit of a lip. Now that is as close as I can get it to the edge without it actually falling off. So I'll just come back with a sanding stick in a bit as soon as that's dry and then take care of that. Just knock it back a little bit and square it up. So I'm assuming that would be square. I'm assuming there wouldn't be a huge dangly thing like that. Tiny bit, there we go. Got all that, all more knobs. Thanks, Obama. Get that on a shave, we're in shot. Not be silly. Me being shot. That'll be a first. Stop it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I'm going to stick that one on first. The big boxing and fadden. I'm going to use Tommy White glue. There's a lot of static in here today. No sticking everywhere. Hang on. Get off. Get off. Get off. I can hear my Auntie Ray in my head now going, oh, you blooming thing. I'm sure she's 70 this year. Ooh, let's get her a card. I'm sure she's 70. So I'll do the white glue just to give it a big grip. And then this will go over the top of that piece there. I've done that. I've done the knobs. Glasses off the camera. Oh, super. And I'll go in there like so, apparently. Okay. I can dot a white glue. Along the edge there. Just to grip it. Like so. Yeah, why not? I'm only on telly. Why not? Let's make Tony look daft. Even though I'm perfectly capable of doing it on my own. Thank you very much. That's dry, and then we'll come back and knock these little corners off. I don't think any of that was in shot, was it? Because I was peering on the camera then instead of at the screen. Do apologize if it was out of shot, you won't get to see that part. Yeah, right then, uh, do I build that part yet? Or do I do this? Oh, right, I don't remember seeing it anywhere. These G parts here actually have where's my G parts gone? There's my G parts. <laughs> I spotted this whilst I was doing my little recce a minute ago. Yeah, why not? These, these little pins just here. You know those threads? Four. One, two, three, quattro. And I've got all these little things as well that need opening up by the look of it. So I'm going to have a, another shifty through. That's a big pin mark. Oh, look at that. Sort that out. Now. Because of how the two fuselage halves, it's not fuselage, stupid boy, how these go together. I'm not anticipating seeing the inside at all once we're done. So I'm not too bothered about some of them, but, but, I'm slightly concerned, even though I know it won't be anywhere near. I've got that one and that one. I'm a little bit worried about those interfering with the tracks. I said, I don't think they'll be near because the tracks tend to come around about here ish. But I'll knock them back slightly just to be on the safe side. But all these here shouldn't be in the way. Because apparently you glue all that together, he says. I'm going to write a little fight with it. Zoom out, show the people. Yeah, you glue all that together like that, and you've got that rear glasses that goes on. Before, well, no, you, you get the idea. So you shouldn't be able to see all those in there. Yeah. If you want to take care of them, by all means, go for it. I don't think I've quite got enough time on my hands at the moment to take care of that properly. But what I will do, just don't quit nibbling that there. Cause it's quite awkward. I don't think I'll get the blade in there properly. Hmm. So what I'll do for now is I'm going to leave 
those two parts off. So I'm not going to drill these out just yet because I've not got enough time for that tonight. And there you are, fiddly little thing, aren't you? That's better. It looks worse than it actually is. Because at some point we've trimmed through, or the company have trimmed through, massive great big pins where they've injected. These lids on before I knock it over. I've Mr. Stewart taking the Mickey out of me again. Yeah. So that looks worse than it actually is. That's actually quite smooth. Yes. Right. Let's see what kind of trouble I can get into. What I'm gonna do. I've actually got a pan in place. Yeah. Just going through the little sub assemblies here off camera. We've got this one here. We've got that lovely seam line in the centre there. There's a part of me wants to cut that just to give it a little bit of additional wonk off to the side, like you would see when the you know the real things, because these things never fit properly. I know it's supposed to be a pristine model, but it's just going to lift that realism a tiny little bit, and it got me thinking. I've got this thing from Trumpeter. I'm sure I got this from emodels.co.uk back in the day. Now, I haven't done any research right now. If you're not seeing this bit, they don't sell it still. If you are seeing this bit, they do sell it. I have to remember how it goes. <laughs> it's something along the lines of... I can't remember how to use it. Was it that one? So that's right, me and B left. <laughs> yeah, I'll leave that one in for you. Leave that black part slid back. Push it in and you should see a little located stub. No, don't start messing me about again. There's a little located stub just there. Lines up with this hole in the blade. Lines up with this hole in the blade, he says. I did it a second ago. There we go. Just a little bit of a wiggle, just to get it past that black tab. There you go. Push the black tab forward. We've now got a blade. It's lovely. Uh, it's a little bit thick for my liking. It might just fit in that gap there. Yeah, just about. But that's for more like heavy duty cutting, hacking. You get a couple of these smaller blades as well to get you into tighter angles. But you also get from emodels.co.uk. Just put them there. These photo watch things from Tamiya. Where's my handle? There's my handle. That you can slip into a box standard blade handle that you get from you know the crafty knife type things. That's my go-to blade for any cutting, hacking, slashing. But again, you get these finer detail blades, like so. And again, I've had these for ages and ages and ages, barely used them. Except for that one. Now being photo etched, it is quite flimsy. So if you don't quite get your angle right, you probably see the creases there. You can't quite make it out side on. But they tend to dig in. And the next thing you know, they do that kind of thing on you. So they're really finesse blades, these. He says, crunch them up in his hand. So I'm thinking, on the other side, I can't do it with this one because I've already glued it in place. I'm going to trim through that line there. I'll show you that. When I get to it, on this side, on the other side, just as I'm working round, uh, I've got a couple of holes to pop here, which will be that one, that one, that one, that one. Not too sure what these are. These are here. I don't think I need these. I genuinely can't remember where I got this from. I've just got adjustable uh, collets. On the other side, I think that's going to be too big. You've got another one tucked in the butt end. Like I said, I genuinely can't remember where I got this from. Apologies. I've had this one donkey chairs and all. Whack it in there like so. Tighten the whole thing up. Oop. And then you got that little spinny collet on the top as well. So you can spin away, 
holding that part spin away and it's kind of like an Archimedes action. I do have an Archimedes drill. Come here. Get tiny tiny smally bits. Again I can't remember where I got this one from. We got this Archimedes drill here. Best thing ever invented. Archimedes was genius. Absolute genius. I got these little drill bits free with it. There's some tiny ones in there. These are ones I've collected over the years, but look at that, it's tiny ones. There's ones even smaller than that. In there. But I don't want to get those out because I'll lose them. So just build up a collection of daft little things just to help you out. I'm just going to hold the top there very gently. Turn. So you can get a better angle on that. Very gently turn. I'll do a decent angle in a second. Just let me uh, finish that one. And if you see blood, stop. That's your leg. <laughs> That's quite a thick plastic. There we go. True. Just go that way and sort that out. We'll tidy that up in a moment. Right. See if we can get you a better angle. Lovely. Dead simple. Just take your time, there's no rush. Let the drill bit do the work. I'm just adding a tiny bit of pressure with that top finger there. Just enough for the drill bit to do its thing. As you can see, there's no rush at all. It's not like I'm using a power drill or anything like that. Added bonus, you get these cool things. These cool worms. Brilliant. There we go. Try get off. So that's stuck in my head as well. I think it's called Third Man, and it's a song I always associate with Peter Sellers. I don't know why I associate it with Peter Sellers. Yeah, you're welcome. So there's that one. I think it was Hitchcock. Half, um, is it Hitchcock? Alfred Hitchcock did a TV series. When well, he used to talk about different horror films and stuff like that, I think. I could be wrong. I'm very carefully going to put that off to the side. I'm going to take that blade. Um, it's not a blade at all, it's just a drill bit. Your habit is to do that. Now, if you've left your drill bit out slightly too long, you'll bend your drill bit, especially the finer ones. So I'm just going to whip that out. And then I'm going to readjust the angle back up here. Like that. Lovely. Right. And then on the top side, I'm just going to take my reach out blade and just going to nick that back a little bit, like so. Reach out, just about zoom in. Let people see what you're doing, darling. There we go. Super. Just literally just skimming across the top, very gently, very carefully. Let the blade do the work. No rush. No rush 
at all. You're not very lazy at all. There we go. That's all protected. Stop it! This is how my brain works. Bounces around all over the show. Shocking. Lovely. That's that done. And now we can get those G parts <laughs> sorted out. <laughs> sorted out. Off them up. See if those holes line up. And hopefully they do. Ooh, remind me to show you the ri rivet, rivet, cutter, rivet, rivet, rivet. So ridiculous curvy bit. Let's get a curvy file for this one. Just saw that nub out very gently, very slowly. Hardly any pressure. Let the file do the work. I'm going to have that mantra stuck in your head if it's the death of me which probably will be because somebody's going to knock on my door and oh hello <laughs> yeah human 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 it's fine it's only a sound effect don't worry so that's it lovely Thing. Look, you want me talking like the anti-ray again now? How are you guys doing? You okay? Hope you're all fitting well. Or as well as fitting things as you can be. Ooh, I gave both the other day. Where is it? Oh, oh, look at that bruise. It's great. So that's, that's what, that was three days ago? It's only just started bruising now, so she did a good job. And I've got a massive, great big purple thing knocking about there, but nothing. She was amazing, that one. Well, she, Sue, she was called. From Swansea. Somebody has to be. Says the boyfriend we're just with. to step here somewhere because that definitely doesn't line up and that bar there isn't on the instructions. Hello. There with. Says it there. Says it there before you add that to the right. That's the downside of skipping parts like I do. So we need to take care of that. How much of that do I take away? Pretty much all of it isn't it? Yeah, right. Okay. Brace yourself. Yeah, I know, no fear. I don't do fear. Just snip it, do it. See, let's drill the parts out. Just like that bit. Snip. So if I flip that to that side. So there we go, we've removed that part there, so we'll leave these sticky up bits around the driver's scope. Driver's scope. So now very carefully working from the top side, very carefully. Yeah, get your cringing heads on. Shift all these subs, shift all these subs, get them in the box nice and safe out of the way. Don't worry, we'll get to them. 
we'll leave that to them. It's fine. I can stay there, I don't need you. Let's clear a bit of the clutter. Need you, don't need you. Ooh, tell you what else did happen. The carpet monster finally had a meal. That part there at the front, I went to do it on the other side and ding, off, disappeared. A tiny, tiny little piece. Carpet monster's gone. Time very much. I love that. Yeah, nasty little thing is. Ooh, that lid wasn't on. <laughs> uh, that could have been fun. Mr. Stewart's just sat forward in his seat. Oh, yeah, 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 drop it. Oops, oops. That's why you keep your fingers well out of the way, boys and girls. So, if your blade does jump, like it did a second ago, you're using too much pressure. So, think of this as a shaving action. So, the blade's nice and flat to the piece. There we go, nice and flat to the piece, let the blade do the work. And if your blade does jump all of a sudden like that, you're using too much pressure. Just back off a little bit, come a little bit higher. If anybody's playing the door out there, you know, for um, you don't go straight for the quarter inch that you're taking off, you do it in steps. Same thing here. Same thing here, there's no rush. So, if anybody's familiar with the Chieftain and all its variants, which mark was it that had these little steps on? Because I genuinely know nothing about this tank. I'm not current working hours, I can't commit to any uh, any research at the moment either. This is a bit tricky, I've got to try and get mid around the, uh, the camera frame. Lovely. Yeah, so we need to take that part there as well. I already know for a fact I'm not going to be able to get much of a sanding stick in there. So what we'll do instead is we'll run some Tamiya Thin Cement over the top. Just to smooth it all down a bit. out of frame just to have a quick look at how flat that is that's pretty close what I'm going to do is I'm going to take care of the rest of that off camera so I can actually get my head in and have a proper look at what I'm doing because at the moment uh, I'll slip a photo in here have a confirmed phone that's my phone that's my phone I'll slip a photo in here he says carry on talking so you can do that what's it That's the view I'm working with at the moment. Uh, so I'm going to try and get my head in under that gap. That top look what I'm doing. Yay! Test fit works. Right then. So I've not actually done any glue work on that because most of that's covered up anyway by the, the pieces. 
like so. So scruffy as that looks. Yeah, it's hidden. So I don't need to worry too much. There we go. That's hidden, so it's just a tiny little bit more work I need to do there. It's not much. Just a tiny, tiny little bit. There we go. Rivet cutter. I'll show you the rivet cutter in a minute. That's that. So we offer that up again. It was a, a one millimetre hole I drilled through there a second ago. I just had a look at the instructions. I wasn't too sure which size it was, so I literally just held the back end of the drill bit to the holes. So that's that. So we get the tummy extra thin. And I'm going to drop into the holes at the back first, just to catch those, and then touch to the front. Touching the side, let gravity do the work. Compelling reaction will make it go zip all the way along. Give it a little squash. Like so. Done. Same again this side. I flip it over. Drop into that hole, drop into that hole. Let's drop it on that back edge as well. Just about, uh, Just to make sure. Back edge, front corner, round side, a wind shot, yeah, that makes a change. Alright, I'll say it for you. Here we go. Lovely. Right. Rivet cutter before I forget again. Yeah, box of tricks. Right, so we get that. Uh, we get several discs to go with it. I think there was four altogether. Oh, oh. That was the box, not me. Honest. Honest. It's the box. Come here. And go. Yeah, there is four. They're labelled with little letters on. I know they're called numbers on. Don't know if you can make that out. There's a little A there. It's A, B, C, and D. What we do is just pop that guard all the way, exposing the little blade thing. Great. Little yellow clip back, little yellow thing drops out, disc falls out, line the new disc up in the hole, push the old button through, click that back into place, make sure your guard's away, and then a little bit of pressure. If you make it out, let's use a bigger one. Oops. Just throw the kit around, why not? Stay there, you. Let's use a big one. It's fantastic. So, if you're using some kind of armour or an aircraft, one of the old ones, you know, that's all riveted like Spitfire or something like that, yeah, I know, I'll probably get yelled at. There we go. Don't know if you can make that out now. Look at them. Well, that's a small version. So it just lifts the detail a little bit. Let's see if we can get that in. There you go. So you add a bit of pressure and it digs in. Where are we? There you go, that's the new line. Stick a wash into that. Perfect. Lovely job. Available from emodels.co.uk. See, I'm doing my job here and everything. I'm selling you things, which is why I'm here. Yes. Right, so. Let's model. 